welcome back to the channel so just continuing from the previous video where I've shown you that how you can uh, uh, enable Raspberry Pi as a wireless access point now we are going to use the same access uh, same uh, Raspberry Pi as a VPN gateway for our, uh, our devices which are wirelessly connected over this access point yeah so to do this thing you will need two things one is the VPN software um, so I'm using open VPN software and uh, I'm using VPN services from Cactus VPN so you can pick any 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 VPN uh, service provider uh, who supports open VPN such as uh, Express VPN or Nord VPN or anything like that yeah so Cactus VPN had offered like three days of trial without saving the credit card details so just I wanted to first kind of uh, make it work and then see the performance and then make a decision yeah so I'm already sitting on to uh, uh, the Raspberry Pi board here I guess yeah I'm there so I'll just take you through the configurations yeah so uh, so first you need to obviously install uh, open VPN software uh, with uh, kind of a aptitude command okay aptitude install open VPN if you are on uh, Ubuntu Debian kind of operating systems if you are on to RHEL then you have to use a yum like um, installers yeah and once this is done then you have to go back to your uh, uh, VPN provider uh, page and uh, uh, you have to kind of uh, create an account there i've already created an account and i've already logged in there in the settings you will see uh, uh, a, a section where it will give you your username and password uh, for your vpn connections yeah and uh, then you have to download uh, kind of open vpn uh, uh, files and certificate certificate is optional i mean if, if you see that vpn is not working then obviously you need to deploy the certificate yeah before uh, you start vpn services so in how to start VPN, set up a VPN, set up a VPN. I just go here and now I'll search for open VPN in here on this page. Yeah, and uh, uh, it takes me to a link which says download open VPN config files. Clicking on this link takes me to the download sections on Cactus VPN. Down below uh, here, you will see download open VPN configuration files. So you'll see that this thing brings up a open VPN hyphen config.zip. Uh, which contains their uh, kind of a server profiles, VPN server profiles. Uh, they have what I can 35 or 36 VPN profiles uh, over like UDP and TCP uh, protocols. Yeah, you have to download uh, these VPN profiles and there's a certificate, and then place uh, this thing into. Uh, I'll tell you directory just a second. Into etc open VPN uh, client. And in here, in this client directory, you can create uh, kind of subdirectories by the name of uh, the, the VPN provider. For example, I've created Cactus. And in this Cactus directory, I've placed all the VPN profiles and plus certificate. Certificate obviously is not uh, mandatory, so just but just kept kept it. I mean, if in case I need it, yeah. So uh, in this, I mean, I'll, I'll just go and randomly show you a VPN profile. So let's pick this one. So in here, uh, this is the complete prevent profile. Uh, all your you should be interested in this line actually. So if you le leave this line, I mean as such, when uh, uh, by default, uh, then every time you connect with the VPN, it will ask for your username and password. And uh, obviously, when you run v open VPN in the background as a service, then you have to make it non-interactive. So to make it non-interactive, what you have to do is uh, you have to put up. Uh, uh, you, have to, you have to. You have to. You have to basically mention the configuration file. Sorry, not the configuration file. Authentication file. Uh, next to this uh, section, auth user password. Yeah. So this uh, uh, file basically just contains your uh, kind of uh, username and password separated by uh, the line uh, slash n. Yeah. So it will be looking something like, uh, for example, if I say cactus dot auth. So you will mention your username like uh, my uh, VPN user and my pass. Yeah, something like that. Just just save it and direct it uh, and mention this this configuration file in your uh, VPN profile. That's it. Yeah. So now you can connect uh, to the VPN. Okay. Uh, I think I've already connected. Let me just stop that session first. Uh, let me just check if I'm connected or not. So, open VPN. Yeah, I'm already connected. So, let me first stop this thing and then I'll show you. Okay, 
So uh, we'll be using, say, for example, Seattle profile, US Seattle profile to connect to VPN. So, and uh, by default, uh, I mean, you will see that there are just uh, kind of Ethernet uh, 0 and WLAN 0 and LO interfaces actually. Okay. So once you are connected to the VPN, it will bring up a new interface called TUN0, Tunnel 0. Okay, then you have to basically, after connecting to the VPN, you have to, you have to basically direct all your traffic coming to WLAN 0 to direct through Tunnel 0. Okay, uh, otherwise, uh, I mean, your traffic will be just going on internet via Ethernet 0, which obviously is not kind of uh, um, through your VPN gateway. Yeah, so I'll, I'll tell you, I'll come, come back to that later. So, let, first, let me connect to the VPN. So, you have to just type open VPN followed by the VPN profile. And this will bring up uh, uh, the VPN connection in a while. Let me just open one more tab and connect to Raspberry Pi router to show you the interface. Yeah. So I guess still taking some time. So here you can still see that there are just three interfaces. So once once it's connected, you will see that there are like four interfaces: I mean, uh, Ethernet, loopback. WLAN and tunnel zero. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is now uh, still connecting. Yeah. Let's wait for some time. Not every profile is working every time, so you have to uh, make a kind of choice of working profile at times. Yeah. Okay. So initial sequence completed. So this should now bring up the tunnel. Yeah, you can see it's, it's enabled now. Yeah. Now, uh, in the previous uh, video, I've shown you that uh, you have to basically direct traffic from Ethernet zero. Yeah. And now in this uh, thing, you have to direct traffic through tunnel zero. So you have to just type like instead of Ethernet zero, you have to type tunnel zero. Yeah. And make it persistent like like we did in the previous one using that filter, save, or you can put it into your uh, rc.local file so here i've mentioned like uh, that every traffic should be directed from tunnel zero yeah so uh, and you can obviously verify this thing once it's uh, kind of uh, up that your tunnel zero is being mentioned over here so now uh, i think we can go back and connect to the vpn i sold okay i'm already onto the wild i mean raspberry pi ssid and uh, let me uh, just uh, put up a tcp dump on tunnel zero to see that if the traffic is going out of this tunnel or not yeah uh, so minus i tunnel zero yeah now we will uh, browse something on internet and see that if the traffic is going out of that interface let me just open yahoo.co.in okay we can see now it's going through this uh, interface and uh, uh, basically internet traffic is going through this tunnel zero interface so that's how you can basically uh, enable vpn gateway for your entire home network and you can secure like every device which is connected to your uh, raspberry pi uh, access point uh, through this vpn gateway so that's pretty much i wanted to cover and i've already documented this thing on my website so you can just visit mk.in to see this uh, article secure home secure home network with raspberry pi based vpn gateway so i have already mentioned the details one last thing probably i just wanted to mention is that uh, by default uh, open vpn actually took, uh, looks for the uh, client file in at, at this location etc open vpn client.conf yeah so what you can do is just uh, select the profile that you want to use and create a symbolic link or soft link uh to this file yeah so for example my client.conf is right now pointing to uh singapore uh, uh kind of server profile of cactus vpn yeah and then obviously you can just uh, use like service uh command i mean basically to see and uh, start stop uh open vpn services yeah so right now it's running from uh, the cli just for showing you the things in detail i'll just stop it here and uh, i'll run it from uh, uh, service tool yeah so let's see so now uh, we'll check the status and to double confirm that I mean basically uh, uh, if you are going through the tunnel or not you can just go back to your browser and uh, 
check that uh, uh, what is what is what is a public IP basically uh, exit public IP what is my I what is my IP on this kind of uh, tool so uh, I'll just check my IP here so it's showing that my IP is this thing if I am not on the VPN if I stop this VPN and, and if I directly connect to my ISP's uh, ISP routers uh, access point then you will see a different IP so if I now connect uh, if I again kind of um, refresh this page it will change the IP now it's going to be okay I have to maybe let me check um, okay let me just refresh this uh, open this in another page yeah, yes, yes, again. so it's taking some time I don't know why That's strange. Yeah, nice no, join. So this is my ISP provided IP, and this is my VPN gateway IP. Yeah. So that's pretty much wanted to share. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it and find it useful. Yeah, thanks. Bye.